Mann. The French won an overwhelming victory at the Battle of Pont Valin. It was the first time the English had been utterly defeated during the war. But the triumph was short-lived. As England spent the next 60 years amassing French territory through alliances and victories at great battles such as Agincourt. It seemed that nothing could stop England. Who then could have foreseen that a teenaged girl was about to change the course of history? In 1429, France was in dire straits. Nowhere was it more evident than the besieged city of Orléans. The city was completely surrounded by English-held forts. But just a few days' ride away, here in Chinon, there was potential help. The French royal prince, the Dauphin Charles, was holed up in his fortress and under pressure to ride out to save Orléans. As Charles hesitated, a young peasant girl arrived at his court. Her name was Jeanne d'Arc. She claimed to have received saintly visions, giving her a divine task to help Charles become king and drive the English out of France forever. Charles was skeptical, but was soon convinced of her divinity. And he charged the 17-year-old with the near impossible mission to liberate Orléans. To Jeanne, this was the first step in realizing her God-given destiny. In April 1429, she rode out from Chinon at the head of her army to confront the hated enemy of France. Surrounded by English strongholds, and with its last line of defense under attack, the city of Orléans grew ever more desperate. In France's darkest hour, 17-year-old Jeanne d'Arc arrived with the king's army to liberate a city and prevent the fall of a nation. The English had captured the vital fortification, known as Les Tourelles, on the south bank of the Loire. Orléans would live or die on its access to supplies. Recapturing Les Tourelles would be key to saving the city. Je 
siege for months, Orléans had sent for crucial supplies, but English patrols threatened their arrival at the city. If Orléans hoped to receive the supplies, the French would have to clear the road of English raiders. The French eliminated the English raiders, granting the supply convoys safe passage into the city. Each time supplies approached Orléans, English raiders would return to guard the road, hoping to plunder the French goods. The supply convoy arrived in the city, providing the French army with much needed gold.
besoigné. Je vais rapparier ce baillet de moi besoin. Another supply convoy approaching the city, English raiders took up position on the road. The French needed to eliminate the enemy detachment if they hoped to receive the supplies. The main bridge leading to Orléans had been destroyed by the French to prevent an English onslaught. Jeanne d'Arc had to find another way to cross to the south bank and make her assault on Les Tourelles. to the army.
bonne besogne est de fait. Mon arc est prêt. Bayez moi besogne. Bien me plaît à œuvrer au temps. Fauti donc besoigné. Another trade convoy arrived in Orléans, with more gold to bolster the army. Shield 
come out. Hey. J'exploite les réparements. Longtemps va-t-il demeurer Another trade convoy arrived in Orléans with more gold to bolster the army.
Convoy arrived in Orléans with more gold to bolster the army. The French army torched the Eastern English force securing a crossing to the south bank of the Loire River. Hey! 
The last obstacle to Lady Hell fell to ruin. Another trade convoy arrived in Orléans with more gold to bolster the army. Some 
Another trade convoy arrived in Orléans, with more gold to bolster the army. was the linchpin in the English siege of Orléans, blocking the main supply route to the city. If Jeanne d'Arc could capture it, Orléans would finally be liberated. Thanks. 
Another trade convoy arrived in Olio, with more gold to bolster the army. convoy arrived in Orléans with more gold to bolster the army. The king's army drove the hated enemy of France from Les Tourelles. 
With the main road to the city back in French hands, the English abandoned their long siege of Orléans. Celebrating a momentous victory at the head of the French army, Jeanne d'Arc would forever be remembered as the Maid of Orléans.